Do you remember we were talking about how like at Christmas time my family would be over and I'm just looking for excuses to go outside so I can fart? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I do recall that. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you don't need an excuse. You can just fart in front of them and say you're losing weight. Yeah. You're not <laughs> losing weight. Depends <laughs> how hard you push. Well, no, it doesn't. It, well, don't um, push too hard. You don't want to start. <laughs> Now you do a bottle. I don't know. Oh, that one made a mess. <laughs> That's all over. I got a coffee, guys. Got a coffee yeah, right here. I know you and a water. With Baileys? No. More no. like a Tim Hortons Baileys coffee. <laughs> oh, I tried those. It was not that no. great. Of course it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it wasn't hey, th- are we? Yeah, we are going. This uh, welcome, going. welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Due to Underwhelming Demand, the podcast. Uh, with Dave, Rachel, and Foreman, the podcast that shoots but never scores. Oh, it just, it's bummer. It's just that, you know. Too just, bad. Am I right, Foreman? The Leafs of podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say the we sentence, try hard. whatever, whatever we you want. We try. Well, I don't know if we try hard, but we try. <laughs> <laughs> this year the sense, yeah. <laughs> this year the sense. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, well, we're we're also the podcast that answers the burning questions in life. Yes, right. Always. Yes. Like can you fart yourself thin? <laughs> can you? <laughs> can you? Can God, I is, I am is, actually di- I've never that hasn't occurred to me, but now I am dying to know. Well, you're can sitting there you? You know, while you're sitting there warming the bench. I don't know if I'm dying to know. Well, I, yes, if that's, you know, who needs a Zempic then? If you can fart yourself thin. <laughs> that's right, if you can fart yourself thin. Foreman, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> can you, are you going to answer this question for us? Can you fart yourself thin? I hope you brought this up because it's good news. Uh, uh, look, it's always good news. <laughs> it's always good news when you can mention the thunder from down under. Uh, okay. <laughs> is it thunder? Which one, the men or the farts? <laughs> the one, uh, <laughs> the one that might actually help you lose weight. Oh, okay. the one that can help you shed the pounds. Okay, yeah. good yes. news. I like yes. where this is going. This, the one yes. that's not just brought up by uh, yours truly, but it's been studied by Health Digest. What? And Women's Health did a write up on this. Wow. Really? Okay. Wow. Don't we all want to know how to, you know, especially at this festive time of year when mm-hmm. you're full of family gatherings and, you know, <laughs> anything and everything where you're shoving your face full of food. Yep. Right down your gullet, eh, Dave? That's right down the old like... yim yam. <laughs> down your old yammo. <laughs> but then out oh has to God. come. Oh, my God. The food is so good. Yeah. Okay. Can't keep it out. Exactly. My, I just about <laughs> ate my fist. <laughs> None of this is that funny. Why are we laughing so I hard? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, can, yes, this is the time of year you would like Can't to know. Yeah. 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 But what did, now listen, <laughs> Rachel, what did your grandma always used to say? What did um, she used to you say? You can't hold in your farts or you'll blow, you're explode or something. Exactly. You'll blow up. Right. We yeah. all do it. Don't so don't be don't disgusted fart. or put off. We all don't. do it. You do it. You're doing it right now. Fart yeah. freely. Have at it. Exactly. Yeah. Fart, fart freely. Well, it's not, not healthy not, to hold them I don't, in. Oh, no. that that's necessarily yeah. a mantra, but okay. It is the season <laughs> to play your O-ring oboe. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. And we have talked about on the I remember, I, I remember talking about it on the radio show where, you know, when I last time we had a big family gathering at our house, all I'm doing is looking for excuses to go outside. Oh, I need to <laughs> Oh, I better take another one piece of th- uh, you know, one item to the recycle yeah, bin in the garage. Right. Yeah. Because you needed to go oh, outside my. and Yeah. Toot. Fart. Fart. Yeah. Toot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> turns out because uh somebody posted this fact on facebook of all places so it must be right it's okay. gotta be true of course yeah. every fart, on the internet yeah, of course every time you cut that cheese uh you burn an average of 67 calories <laughs> really oh, okay. which is like a light beer which it, that is actually yes. You, yes i didn't think about it like yeah. that but you're right 
It sure. sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Because it is. It's yeah. not true. <laughs> oh. oh, that's not true. Oh. So no. you don't burn 67 calories every time you fart. No, one weight loss expert put it this way. Quote, <laughs> you cannot fart yourself thin. It is not a practical weight loss tool. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just for all of really? us who are holding on to yeah. hope. That's too okay. bad. That's really too bad. So, but it's, it's always, you know, you you know when you try to, if you are in fact on a some sort of diet plan or maybe an exercise thing, or what yep. you, you know, uh, we're not far from New Year's resolutions and all that stuff. Yes, of course. It's it's nice to know. It would be nice to know that something that is achievable mm -hmm. by just about anybody, anybody, yes. by everyone, can, yeah, yes, anybody could. And now you're telling us. That's not true. Well, right. you're breaking yes and no. You're breaking my fart. Oh, fart. Look, yeah, you're breaking, you're breaking my, my fart. fart. Don't go breaking my fart. Yeah. Don't go breaking my fart. <laughs> Thank you. I love Thank you. Yeah. No. Yeah, you see the muscles that make it uh, okay. happen. Mm -hmm. Uh it turns out when you're steam pressing your underpants the muscles are relaxing, not contracting. Steam, steam pressing, pressing your <laughs> underpants. Oh, yeah, they're really, Lime yeah, wine. okay, so they're not, yeah, yeah that no, does kind of make <laughs> So you need to activate your muscles to burn the calories. Uh-huh. Okay, so ho maybe holding in your fart would burn more calories. Well, uh, yeah, the more but you strain. But as we know, that's not good for you. Well, yeah. exactly, don't do it too much, but the more you strain, maybe the more you, uh, pressure you have to apply, <laughs> the more calories you'll end up burning like yes, maybe but a couple no that's not a good that's not a good okay so you might burn a couple calories doing that like literally Pretty, yeah. a couple i that's don't think that's it. a good strategy i uh like it's a risky calories? the more you, tr you the more you uh push or the more you hold uh the riskier it is you don't yes. want to start oh, no okay. That's you don't right. want to do that. No. Okay. You got to be real careful. All right. All right. <laughs> Listen, we're talking I about farts, and that was too far. I think I'm maybe. Sorry. I think yes. No. I do. I think maybe we. <laughs> you know. This is all encompassing. We're in it now. I, no, we, we were having a we civilized steam, conversation. We steam pressed <laughs> underpants and then went directly to that. I mean, I don't. I I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so you're so telling us. Burns, if you push hard, two calories. Maybe a calorie or two, and that's it. Okay. So <laughs> not worth the uh, effort. Well, I, I, it does make more sense now me. when they say your muscles are relaxing, right? Like exactly, even to smile, yeah. how many muscles does that take? Like it's all the muscle. They say like smiling takes like, I don't know, how many muscles? It doesn't face? take any muscles to have resting bitch face, though. So. No, <laughs> it really doesn't. It, it doesn't. But I, here's what I'm wondering then, Foreman. Yeah. What happens then? Oh, and I'm my. sure you don't have the answer to this. I don't mm. know whether the study went this far. Okay. But let's say uh, you could manage to, you know, it's hard to, you know, uh, rub your stomach and your head or pat your head at the same time. Like it's very pat your oh, head yeah. Cold. stomach. Yeah, yeah, do that. It's pat very your difficult head and to rub do. Your that. Stomach. Is it yeah. uh, maybe worth your while to do? I don't know. Twenty five push ups uh, while farting. While, <laughs> while farting. Like, would that... You know what you should do is sit-ups. That will help get them out. <laughs> yeah, sit-ups are do doing it anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. Don't act like you're not. Right. Okay. Everybody's... Go to a yoga class. Farts all yeah. over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think about the ter in terms why, of a yeah. Christmas party as well, where I, I, you know, I had somebody on the phone this morning on the radio in Halifax. Okay. Uh, so, you know, good rule of thumb to, you know, think about who do you want to gather with during this festive season? If okay. you're not comfortable farting in front of them, then don't invite them to your party. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. Really? Because like I have, I don't want to fart in pe in front of people. <laughs> Thank you, and we appreciate that. Yeah, yes, that is, you know, still hang out you with know, you. that's that's appreciated. Yeah. Foreman, on the other hand, I don't seems know if I have... <laughs> She's a, he has a higher bar or a lower. <laughs> no, a lower bar. I think lower, lower bar. Slightly lower. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a, quite a bit lower. Okay. Well, <laughs> happy holidays. Yes. Yeah. Get to farting. Get to farting. <laughs> I'm wondering if I would uh, run faster if I was farting while running. You know, sort of a jet, yeah. pro jet <laughs> propulsion <laughs> sort of effect. I think that might a little, help. That little might help you. Turbulence back Yeah. <laughs> turbulence.
This is Due to Underwhelming Demand. It's the podcast featuring three people who get along just slightly better than all the notes. Oh my goodness. Isn't that slightly. crazy? Just, there's no restraining well, orders yet. No. <laughs> no restraining orders. I can't believe that the one who issued yeah. the restraining order? Hall yeah. or Oates. Anyway. Yeah. You know what he's crazy. you know what he's you know what Hall said to Oates? Hey, hey man. I can I can't go for that. No can do. Okay. <laughs> a long way for that joke, and it says no can do. Yeah. No can. Okay. Somebody's dreams aren't coming true anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, speaking okay. of um, dreams, do you ever, when you're uh, putting up the Christmas decorations? Hang on a second. Speaking of, <laughs> it's because I dream of putting up the Christmas tree. <laughs> I love it's a thing. That was I a love strap. doing it. Like if you're gonna do a good segue. I know I'm just segue, trying to yeah, kinda, I can't you know, I can't get there. Yeah. Dave's so much better at it than so me. So Hall and Oates, speaking of decking your halls, <laughs> there you go. It's right oh, there that's for you. It's right there for you. Oh that okay, was better. So let's start decking again. <laughs> okay. okay, so speaking of decking your halls. <laughs> We were. Yeah, good one, yes, Foreman. You, correct. That, this thanks is for, why we're a team. Thanks, Can't that's work right. alone. I'm okay. sure that I'm sure that other stuff has been edited out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. No one okay. knows why we're laughing so hard. No. No, exactly. exactly. Right. All right. Um, speaking of uh decking your halls, obviously, <laughs> that was off the top of my head. Um, we were decking our halls this weekend, this past weekend. And um Were you? Yes. We were. Uh, wow. Decking your halls and you're shucking your oysters. Decking shucking your halls. Our oysters. Yeah. Yeah. Decking uh, well, your halls. Well, I was putting up the uh, the all the all the Christmas decorations. We're getting everything out. The lights were up. Everything it was a whole day of it. The kids are now excited because Christmas. I love Christmas, as you know. I love putting up all the decorations. I don't really mm. decorate for any other season other than Christmas. Um, <laughs> although my kids <laughs> did say that we were severely they... lacking at Halloween. Mm hmm. So I had to go buy some, I had to appease them and sure. actually up my game with Halloween decorations. So anyway, but Christmas is my thing. I love it. So we were putting up the tree and then the girls um, were kind of busy during the day, but they were like, are we going to do the tree? Are we going to decorate? Don't decorate without me. Make sure I'm home. I said, no, I don't worry. We're all going to, the three of us will do it oh, together because yeah. Jared doesn't give one Fun care. old fashioned family <sighs> yeah. Christmas decorating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last year I asked Jeremy to take a photo of of the three of us decking the tree and or decorating the tree, and it was just a picture of my big old butt leaning over the tree on the ladder, <laughs> I remember that. trying to get up the. <laughs> I remember that. That yeah. was great. It was, it was so, great. It was a great like, picture. Like that's the picture. You're a videographer. That's the picture you took, really. Yes. Anyway, that's that's the one. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So we're decorating the tree. The girls are are home from their playdates or whatever they're at, and we're all decorating the tree. But does anyone else redecorate the tree once their kids are done decorating it? Of course, oh. mm -hmm. every time. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's okay. Not I have. Me. I have questions they... about that. Yeah. Oh go ahead. well, go Kendall ahead. can't reach very high, so we had to get out some stools because uh -huh. all like the majority of the ornaments were on like the bottom third. Yeah. Sure. And I did set a rule because this year we have a dog and I'm not sure what she'll do with the tree because she wasn't with us last Christmas. So I said, well, let's put the glass ornaments up up higher and the mm. plastic ones or non-breakable ones can go lower. So right. Kendall's like, I'll do the non-breakable because she will absolutely break a glass ornament. Uh -huh. So I said, yep, good idea. So she put them <laughs> so many on the bottom third. And as we go up the tree, there's fewer and fewer. So now I'm trying to rearrange them and they're getting out ornaments that I'm like, no, that one's not great. And they're like, but I made this in like daycare and it's so cute. I'm like, it's half painted, but not really half painted. And it doesn't look that great. <laughs> we're not. Okay. And they're like, mom, well, what can we put on? I'm like, here's the ones you can put on. So I'm, okay. man I'm now managing which ornaments can go on the tree. But we've we've allowed more. And I used to have like a whole aesthetic for the tree. I, I was like, I want the tree to be these colors and that's it. But then when you have kids and they start making things and bringing stuff home, we only have one tree. So now more and more handmade ornaments have made it onto the tree. Yeah. Uh -huh. And but how do so those some of them I vetoed, but how do a those lot are still there? So my, there's a couple of questions I have here. But the first one would be, uh 
and this is something that you have to look at. You got to be very organized, and you have to be organized after Christmas. So mm -hmm. when you you yeah. look at those handmade, because the kids don't care about the tree after Christmas. I'll bet you the kids True. don't want. They don't want to help you take it down. No, they don't want to really help you take me. the no. So you that's can true. Very yeah. quietly file those decorations somewhere, and then no oh, one that's, remembers. Actually, that's a good idea. I don't want to get yeah. rid of them. I want to keep them for memories, but I don't really want them. <laughs> Just put them somewhere else. Then. No, yeah. we, we actually hid all those types of uh, things before they were even available to put up this year. Ah, even oh, smarter. Well, you guys kept them moved, aside. so you were I able know. to like organize I've, that a little bit. Well, they're all here, but they're yeah, <laughs> they weren't available. And then once they put up the ones we wanted anyway on the tree, they're all in like one clump on one side. Yes. You have to oh my gosh. Them. Yes. So the kids are done, and so I had to do the same. The kids are done with the tree, and everything's up, and there we all <laughs> take a look at that. I'm like, okay, well, we got to move some of these around, or let's put this one at the back, and we'll put this one at the front instead. So I'm now redecorating it for the next 10 minutes after they're, they're finally done. I don't, they haven't noticed yet. So we'll see. I would, uh, you know, you could, but it, it you know, it will open a, a, a can of worms probably, but you know, sometime after Christmas, find small trees, like small, you know, just like a three foot and say, this yeah. Is, and then give the, the tree to them next year. And oh, let that's them a good idea. That's not and a put bad all idea. those on there. Yeah, and they'll have their own I don't own really tree. have a lot of places. I know you've got like 10 trees in your house, including yeah, one behind you there. I yeah. have one tree, and I don't really have room for more. I mean, I guess you know I could get some well. tabletop trees that are three feet tall. I, I don't know. No one has yeah. room for multiple trees. Must be nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't have that much room. We I don't all live north of, north of Fanshawe. Oh, NOF. <laughs> well, sorry about your loss. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I, before I uh, moved, uh, here we were putting up more than one tree, so it's not that it, you need a whole lot of room because we didn't have a lot of room. You make we room, before. you kind of do, but I, you know, I will tell you this: uh, there's a couple of things at play here. I don't know why. I I think if you leave that tree like that, and you don't have to leave it forever, you can fix it. If if you're having a lot of people over and you want your tree to look nice, and I get it, trees yeah, are it looks what it looks like now. Yeah, what it, like, decorations or whatever. You can do. But I, I think it's kind of funny if you, if if the grandparents pop over or whatever and, and see the tree and you go, well, the kids decorated this year. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's 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 fine. Not yeah. Foreman, it's you're funny. shaking it's your good. head. You don't think it's that funny because. We <laughs> <laughs> I know that it, it, there's somebody else in this house that has more of a stickler on how it looks than I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get it. Jeremy I get doesn't it. care at all. At all. I'm the one yeah. that cares. No, I know. I get yeah. it. And I, and I understand that. But let me um, then let's. And I know people are going to write to us and say, oh, just let them do it. It's lovely to have those ornaments. Well, you I, are. It is. You're letting, it's you're letting yeah, them you're do right. it. You are. I get I, that. You, yeah. you let them do it. And you, you know, when it's bottom heavy or what, you got to do Well, something. I had to redistribute redistribute uh, the bottom ones and kind of move mm -hmm. them up a little. <laughs> so, yeah, we've had to Well, we, we do have even several it trees. Out several trees here and they're you know they're themed maybe this one's a different color and that's a different color or whatever um but we we always had one tree that we just put stuff on whatever it was whatever charlotte made mm -hmm. you know the decorations that are you know that we maybe both brought into the into the house and whatever right. and so charlotte would help us and she loved decorating it was her favorite tree she used to love that tree right uh, oh, well, and the, then I and should the, get another the, one like that. The, then the key is, though, used to. You better <laughs> enjoy it. Oh. Because my teenage daughter doesn't mm -hmm. lift a finger to help okay. put up a tree, yeah. a decoration, anything. Nothing. She doesn't care. We used to do it as teenagers at my parents' house. When we, when we, when we were at home, my mom would say, you girls do the tree because we loved it. And we would do yeah. it together and play Christmas music. And yeah. I'm surprised well, she doesn't like it because yeah, you guys love Christmas so much. Yeah, no, we like Christmas, but uh, and you know she'll she's in the process of doing her own shopping. She buys her own things for uh, okay. her mom and dad now and all that stuff. But yeah, she doesn't care about decorating no. trees. So you know, you I'll get a little one for them next year, and then we can. You continue. should embrace it. Embrace it I, while you I have know, it. I know. I will. I will. Yeah. Yeah. 
truly a first one. <laughs> <laughs> This is due to underwhelming demand. The podcast minus the sponsor. Just saying. Hey, yeah, you know, you're there, interested. We have, we'll take we have openings. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, <laughs> this is the uh, Christmas eggnog of podcasts because we sound better with rum. Yeah, we do. Honest. Yeah, try it. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's right. A fact. Yeah. And now, if we don't, bin- have more rum. Yes. Binge this all season. Yeah. That's right. S- speaking of Jingle Bell, uh, Jingle Bell Rock. Um, <laughs> I hate you. I know you do. You <laughs> <laughs> I got a new phone. I I have a brand new. Uh, Did you? Okay. Yes, I do. I have a brand new iPhone 14. Must be nice. Oh. Do you have one in every room decorated in different no, themes? No, no, I one don't. in every color. Yeah. Like, if your problem was a first world problem, this is really a first world problem. So. Yeah. That's all um, we can talk about here. First world problems. My question is, do you get excited when you get a new phone? Do you get excited? Uh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I'm like, ooh, what can I, I knew you do? Would say yes. And it's usually I, the I same. knew you would say yes, Foreman. Yeah. I mean, it's nice, especially if you've let your older phone go like, way longer than it should have. Then, you know, it's such a world mm-hmm. of difference that you're thinking, like, finally a phone that works. Right. Like uh, okay. Really so I would yeah. I would agree yeah. with that, but I I'm going to uh, this is a cautionary tale, and a lot of people probably already know this. Cautionary right, because you got your last new phone like three months ago. No, no, that's <laughs> not it at all. It's just that you used to be you used to be able to hang on to your phone. You you wanted to keep it, just keep it. Why, yeah. why get? It? Yeah, you I could do an upgrade. Phones. You could do you know you don't you didn't have to go for a new phone, but maybe you wanted to go for a new phone. And then you get excited for a new phone. Mm-hmm. But now, now we, uh, not that I want to complain about the company that gives me a discount. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you still well, get a discount? Yeah, I still get a discount. I don't know how, I don't. but I still get a discount. Um, I do, but it's well, only because my new company has an agreement with go. the same damn company. Yeah, well, oh. There you go. So you, anyway. <laughs> my husband uh, works for Rogers, so we have that one. And that one's better. Uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, no, because I'm pretty sure they're Actually. doing the same thing as mm. the old company. Um, okay. So you, uh, I got email. So I'm, I'm the name. It's under my number, and there are two other phones for both Janet and Charlotte uh, on my plan, and we're with the company that uh, I get that discount with. Right. And so I, I get in my email, I get three emails regarding all three phone numbers. Mm. And by the way, your two years is just about up. Now, they never used to bother me before. I remember never being bothered. We would just go uh, maybe on Black Friday. They would have a, a deal or whatever, and you would you would do an yeah. upgrade. That's what we used to call it. We'll just get an upgrade. I'll get yeah. a newer phone, yeah. and uh, they, they're probably going to charge me $5 more a month or 10 whatever they're going to do, but I'll just get a new phone. So, uh, but I was getting these emails, and when we... When I first read it, I went, I don't like this. I don't like this email at all. And then my, my wife read it, and she interpreted the email differently than I did and said, no, we're fine. We can keep our phones, but Charlotte needs a new phone and wants a new phone. Okay. So we'll deal. We'll go, and we'll get so – she has a birthday coming up. Here's your birthday. Here's the new phone. Right. It's our phone. Okay. We pay for the phone for now, but, you know, it's our turn. You know, so this is the birthday gift. You're going to get a new phone. So we go in on uh, Black Friday. And it uh, turns out um, the reason I'm getting these emails, and I got several of them, right. is that I got to give that phone back. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I think they all give do that, that phone now. Back. And I don't if know I why they don't, changed. Yeah, they did change. And if I don't give that phone back, they're going to charge me eh, roughly $500. Yeah, to keep it. To keep it. I know. Now you Ouch. rent the phones for some reason. Yeah. And I don't know why that changed, but it changed for the other company, too. Uh, yeah. So we have to do that, too. And you yeah. can keep it if you want to pay the extra. Yeah. But it used to be just included in your bill or something like that. And now yeah, it's it would, not. It would get buried. And I also think phones at one point were cheaper than they are now. When you look at an iPhone, mm. I think to go and try and buy an iPhone at the Apple store, it's like 
thousand dollars. I don't know. Yeah, eleven hundred dollars, twelve hundred, fourteen yeah. hundred. Exactly. Yeah, great. No one's gonna or, do that. Or a right. Google, even a Google phone. I don't know what they cost to buy one. No, Same much. Yeah, it's crazy. some people do it, but that's not my game. I just let you know. I'm gonna go and do. But now they've got you kind of. So as a cautionary tale for those who haven't gone through this before, that's what's gonna happen to you. They're gonna. Yes. They're gonna give you two choices. You can rent another one and give us back that phone. And by the way, that phone better be in good condition because if it's not, you still owe us money. Oh boy! You're still and paying one, for the old phone. One, one out of our three phones. See if you can guess which Uh-oh. one was not in good shape to be returned. Oh boy! You need an Otter Box. <laughs> that. Solves all problems. No, it doesn't solve all problems. Uh-oh. Not all problems. It's not sixteen-year-old proof. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a- anyway. I was told by the uh, the guy there that it, it, that uh, two of these phones are in excellent shape. But right? One, we're <laughs> we're sorry. So you're on the hook for that. Mm-hmm. So that means. Well, that's a I'm on the because- hook for that. Yeah, now you have to pay for it. But you have a job, and you're going to pay me back. Okay. So much for the gift. Right. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Happy birthday, right? So now, are you excited about getting a new phone? I don't love that I have to give it back. No. I don't love that I have to give it back. Yeah. So So after this is all explained to us, then this uh, guy, uh, you know, he, uh, he's got the iPhone. He brings out the boxes. We have no choice. And uh, he's got the box, and there's tape on either end of the box with a little peel thing on it. Mm-hmm. And he hands it to me and goes, do you want to peel it? I'm like, no, I don't. Go ahead. You peel it. No, you peel it. I said, why? He goes, oh, people get really excited when they open their new phone. Oh, and I'm like, goodness. here. Here's two fingers. Um, <laughs> you open. It. Not I'm only not am open. I not excited, but I'm yeah, thoroughly pissed off. <laughs> so now, not only that. So then, I, so my phone is the first one out of the box. I've already been there for an hour, yeah, an hour going through this and that. So you get my phone out of the box, and the first thing that we turn on my phone, and they have a way of doing iPhones where they can switch. Bam, bam. They. They push a couple of buttons. I don't know which buttons they're pushing. And they get all your stuff on it. They take all mm-hmm. your stuff over, right? Um, none of us know how to do that. Although I, I'm pretty sure you, all you have to do is Google it. It's not hard. Uh, so they do that for you. But my the first phone out, my number, because I'm in, uh, it's my number, needs an update, which takes, oh. honestly, sitting there. In a, and it's very busy in this place. Yes. Almost an hour for an update. No, now the other two phones didn't need that. Then you got to switch all the things over. It's not fun getting a new phone. Then I get this thing, you know. So now I go out and I go and I wanted to so I get the phone. Everything we're doing more shopping. I need to pay for something, and I'm usually like click, click, boom, pay. Here we go. It's on right. the phone. Get the phone. It's on there. No, it's not. No, oh, it's not on there. You got to set everything up a, again. Of course, it's not on there. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. And not only that, every time I look at the phone, it won't open. What's wrong with you, phone? <laughs> Why won't you open? You got to set your face ID. You got to set your face ID. So you yeah. would have loved, loved, loved. This is why I don't want to get a new phone ever I've actually again. actually never ever. gone. Honestly. I know. I well, you could buy that one and just keep it for five I guess. Years I guess. It's almost obsolete. And basically. then I'll need a new phone, right? Then I you have c- to get one. I yeah. could be dead by then. So let's just you- go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So oh here I am on uh, on what day was it? Monday or Tuesday this week? I'm all I'm all by myself. My wife's gone to work. My daughter's gone oh to school, and, uh, and I see on the, there's a little notification on my phone. Would you like to uh, uh, finish setting up your phone? Yeah, maybe I would sure. I thought that. I was done. Yeah, I, God I think, damn it! Yeah, I think I will do that. Let's finish. What what haven't I done? <laughs> I know what I haven't done. That damn face ID. Yeah, I get into the face right. ID and it tells me to uh, send over my face in the thing, which yep. I do. But then it keeps saying lower your phone. So I'm lowering. Like how low do you want this phone? So then I would. It wants it. to go it, under your chin because that's how you're looking. That's when you I, open your phone. It's down here at your stomach. I know. 
Yeah. 20 minutes, I swore at oh. that phone. No, 20 you didn't. minutes. Oh, my God. Plus, I did a, I rebooted it. I can just it. imagine it now. I, you should have. Oh. I know exactly like, what you'd be doing. I can see it. You, I'm telling you right now, it's a good thing no one was here. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I hate getting oh my gosh my first world problem i i was gonna say it. i've never gone into a store i always do it at home but that would be a very bad idea for you <laughs> <laughs> this is due to underwhelming demand the podcast uh and we've reached the point of the show that everybody likes the end <laughs> uh, where we, oh, where, that's too bad. Where uh, we uh, we uh, read some of your comments, and we love doing that. Uh, you've either mm-hmm. commented on social media, or maybe you sent us an email. And please email anytime you want. Uh, yes, Dave Rachel, Dave Rachel Foreman. Yep, Foreman, at gmail.com. At gmail. <laughs> Let's both say it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you can send us a time. message on Instagram uh, or on Facebook. You can comment on either one of those, uh, mm-hmm. even in Messenger on either one or as a youtube comment and if you wonder how many you know if you think well i've been listening to this a lot not as much as a few other people oh really? okay jamie says i just finished listening to the entire podcast series whoa oh, i am that's so glad lot. you guys are back and uh, able to bring laughs to my mom and i again so that's oh, very nice. Well, thank, thank you. you for doing that, boy. I'm I wouldn't. So glad. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't recommend that. That's what listening to the whole thing? The whole thing all the way sure. through. If no. you not, if How you haven't, did that take you? I would. I would take some time away because it, it could, <laughs> I, am, I would. I would be worried about you. Yeah. After, <laughs> well, after all those episodes. How about mm. Jackie? Who Jackie says she's laughing at how committed she is to us because. This is the tis the season to get your Spotify wrapped. Right. How oh. many things you listen to all yes, year? Yes, I got yes. mine yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Jackie's uh, says she is a top 3% fan of ours. Wow. What? And it says she listened for 1,898 minutes. Wow. Oh. Just to this. Wow. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you. much. Yes. Thank you for Applause. being a... Uh, I think that's cool, actually. I like I that. I think that's cool, we, too. Yeah. And my cousin sent us sent me a message, actually, with her Spotify wrapped, and we're number three of her top five podcasts. <laughs> that's awesome. She I says, like well, that. you're not number one, but number three is pretty good. I'm like, Number well, three is not sweet. bad. That's yeah. not bad. I'll take <laughs> three. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have an email from Lindsay, who is listening all the way from Halifax, she says. Good morning, Foreman. Foreman. Yes. Oh, I know. I know which Lindsay this is. Oh, yeah. do you? Yeah. She said, just wanted to say, I love that I still get to hear Ho- Foreman's voice in the mornings here in Halifax, but that does not stop me listening from the three to the three of you guys. You still make me laugh so much. Keep up the good work. I also wanted to mention to Foreman that listening to the last podcast about grade five math, it hit home so well because we've been struggling trying to teach our daughter who is in grade <laughs> three math. So mm. <laughs> she says, can't wait to hear the next podcast. So thank you, yeah. Lindsay. That's yeah. so nice. I'm glad you found this, Lindsay, because we, I, we, I've we, really been hanging her out to dry where she was so upset when uh, Melody in Halifax went on mat leave. Oh. And, she, you know, she she spoke her mind about that. And then I used a little soundbite of that in an in intro for a segment that normally is handled by Melody. And then I do it now and it sucks compared <laughs> to Melody. But it's her voice in there every day. <laughs> And now oh. here I am in Ontario, and not there, and I can't, like we're just like a deserting. And now Lindsay. she's there. No, oh, don't do that, poor Lindsay. Lindsay. Well, thank no. you for finding us. You can find finding us anywhere. Foreman. Yeah, you can find us anywhere. Send us an email if you want to uh, just let us know what you thought of the podcast. Uh, Dave Rachel Foreman at gmail dot com, or if you're interested in sponsorship, we will. We've got lots of openings right now. It turns out, boy, do we so, ever! Boy, do we you ever! Can, yeah. You mm-hmm. can drive a semi through our openings. <laughs> <laughs> you can drive a dump truck through a yeah. nitroglycerin plant. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The blasting. The blasting.